What is going on everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. And today I'm taking a look at one from Guinness. It is the Harp Lager, brewed and imported from Ireland, from St. James Gate in Dublin. This comes in at 4.5% ABV. On the back of the label, Harp is a premium lager imported from Ireland, brewed in the classic Pilsner style as created by a Guinness German brewmaster in 1960. This crisp lager has a fruity nose and clean finish with hints of malt and citrus hops. So I've actually had Harp lager a good amount of times over the years, but had never done a review. So I thought I'd crack one open and share that on here uh, with you guys as well, let you know what I'm kind of tasting in the beer. Now, after all these years have kind of passed, and of course, they are also under Diego, so they are under one of the big boys there. Uh, but you know, I do like my Guinness, and occasionally I like a nice crisp lager, especially when it's the hot days like summer. A nice, crisp, refreshing lager can easily hit the spot, especially if you're doing some yard work or some other things where you're out in the heat. You definitely want something to have more of that refreshing type feel, and that can be brought by this style. Doesn't have a date on the bottle. It does have the uh, lot number, it looks like, or a code on here. Again, would love to see all the things have dates, and it is an 11.2 ounce bottle. So that is something a little bit different, but accustomed to what we're seeing from things that come from overseas. That is usually the kind of number that you'll see on the bottles rather than ours that have the 12 ounce. So we'll go ahead and get this baby poured into the glass. Started pouring a little quicker than I wanted to at first, but that's all right. We'll settle down, simmer down now. I'm gonna end up giving myself a pretty big head here, which it will dissipate, but it'll open up some aromas too. But it's definitely a larger head than I was uh, wanting to get. But some nice foam coming off the action of the beer. It's got a nice sudsy quality. And this is one that you can pick up usually relatively inexpensive a lot of people will get them in 12 packs or they'll get them in uh six packs whatever it may be but you know if you wanted to check it out you can get an individual but there you have the nice straw color you look at the clarity classic of this style there's the head right there lots of suds nice foaminess that'll break down some as i drink through the glass now with this kind of style again you do like to have these a little bit more on the colder side so that you can really get that nice, crisp, refreshing feel as you actually down this. So we're going to say that head is probably about a three to four finger or so. Depends on the size of the hand. But off the nose, I get some of the yeast, the esters coming out of the beer. It's got that earthy type feel. Some people will say a barnyard type feel. It has that taking place as well. But you're getting that maltiness, that sweetness coming out. But nothing different than what you're usually accustomed to the style. I do get a tinge of the hops on the back end as well on the nose, um, following the malts, but it's definitely, of course, malt lead with this type of style. Taste wise. Again, a nice refreshing beer, a little bit of a floral type taste in there as well. You do feel a little bit of the hops on the back end. Leaves a little bit of flavor there in the cheek area. On the palate, it has a nice soft feel, very light. Easily can chug through these, easily can down a six pack of these with no problem. Um, the head is actually hanging in there nicely, starting to lace the glass as it goes down. So a nice image that you have with this kind of beer. Dig in the carbonation action again, as you can see there, lots of bubble streaming there, but very soft on the tongue. So I'm not getting a lot of tongue prickling off the uh, carbonation in here, although you can see how it is active in the glass. You just get that nice amount at the tip of the tongue. You get that earthiness in the mouth as well, along with that floral feel. And on the back end, it's kind of like that malt sensation is kind of sitting there. It's got that bready quality as well. So overall, Heart is a decent beer. It's not one you're going to really rack up against some of the craft beers out there now. But if you want like a classic style Pilsner, Harp is a decent one to check out. Many different beers, many different styles. But as far as one that makes a nice lager, I would definitely say check out Harp from Guinness from now under Diego, so to speak, if you'd like to check it out. And if you've had this one, let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section. I'm sure a lot of you have had this at some time or another. 
but uh, just a nice, simple beer. Thanks again for swinging by to check out another video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Let me know about this beer. Let me know about other beers you'd like to enjoy or other beers you want me to see. And I look forward to catching up with you soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.